Right then, this is now the third part. The third part of the conflict model happens to be the condition system. Now, the first one is the flow. We're just talking about people and their intentions about the future. The second one is the coupling, what, what actually practically, how people can actually fit together by skill set, perhaps defined by skill set or personality type or I don't know, sun sign, you know, star sign, whatever. Right? The third one is a bit tricky. The third thing is, well, what are the conditions? I mean, we can have projections. You know, we can say, oh, we wanted this to happen, we want that to happen. Oh, I have intentions for this, I have intentions for that. But if you get a cold, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to probably stay at home and probably, like, you know, relax, stay in bed. Or you can say, I want to do this, I want to do the next thing. But look, look, actually, I'm hungry, so I'm going to have some food. Context. The whole point about sustainability is context. The trick is, as a group, as a collective, how do we determine what the conditions are? If we were good as a collective of detecting what the conditions are, that would inform our decision-making process individually and presumably collectively. So if we've avoided all this ego conflict and the force of will about what we're going to be doing, I we've agreed, right, we're going to, in a year's time, we're going to make a million pounds this way. Okay, and it's just the person with the strongest will or the most persuasive or whatever that wins. What's the point of that? Why don't we kind of like go forward, try different things out simultaneously as we go. So different people will be trying different ways of trying to do it. And maybe in a month's time, different people have different projections. And they think, well, in a month's time, I'll be able to do this. In a month's time, we'll be able to do this. All right. And it depends. In a month's time, hopefully, it will be determined which one or two or however many groups have managed to achieve their aims. The conditions have dictated who or which particular projections win. Does that make sense? And instead of being in a competitive way, it's kind of like cooperative. So the ones that pursue avenues that don't work are kind of like, you know, welcome back into the fold to join in with the flow of the, of the ones that are. Okay, so we're trying to be sensitive to the conditions. If we're sensitive to the conditions, which is effectively, you know, sustainability, the whole, you know, and the world that we look at, the obvious one, right? Here we are on this planet and we're fucking it up. We're obviously sensitive to the fact that the temperature is getting warmer, we're kind of like, you know, we're slightly worried that the animals are becoming extinct, we're chopping out the forests, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, we're kind of aware of it, but we can't really do anything about it. But those are the conditions. And for some reason or other, those conditions are not kind of determining how we are progressing. And instead, we have institutions, we have money, we have strong people, we have, you know, that's kind of determining what's happening. That doesn't make any sense. What we want to do is we want to have the third part, which is to make us more sensitive to the conditions. Now, how is that like? How is that sorted out? Well, hopefully, there are one or two people that are just happen to be. There's several ways of doing this, right? But one way is that there are some people that are more sensitive to the conditions, the prevailing conditions, than others. Okay, so they're sitting there saying, ah, I think this, I think that. And they're sensitive to the conditions. Now, the trick is, who's listening to them? Because if we could find out who that person was that's sensitive to what's going on and have a good idea about how, how to go ahead, then we'd be listening to them. Presumably. Not the one in a power position, necessarily, or a position of any kind, but just because they happen to be the most sensitive to the conditions. Okay. Now, how do we actually determine, even if we did have different people that we kind of asked to take, <laughs> they're quite sensitive to what's going on here. Just like any scientific experiment, you kind of, you know, there are sensors that detect what is. Okay. The trick is, how do we decide, kind of collectively, um, what to do with this information? Okay, and so we've developed this little system and it's to do with uh, how much your intention, how, how, how driven you are, how enthused you are by what it is that you're doing, by your intention and what you're planning to do and the projection you're going towards. That's basically it. Is that basically it? The condition system. So the projection is effectively based in you and me, and just individuals. The, the condition system, uh, the coupling system is based on just our kind of like how we think we should fit together, maybe, potentially. 
uh, well, what skills I have and other people me have, and then we just kind of just see if it fits together or not. And the third one is, okay, is anybody checking out what's actually going on uh, around us? Okay, now if you have these three simultaneously uh, being acted upon, I think what happens is that we have a reasonable chance to have confluence. Decisions are made. Uh, leaders emerge and decisions are made, kind of collectively. The collective moves its way towards, I don't know, I would have thought the most attractive future projection. It emerges. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Maybe. I hope so. <laughs>